So after losing almost 75% of my money in 2021 with crypto, I am now approaching this next upcoming bull run in a completely different position. Rather than buying the all-time highs of certain altcoins like I did in 2021, as it was euphoric, as everyone expected, the markets just keep on going. I'm now approaching it from getting in right now at the accumulation phase, then cashing out at that euphoric state. So today's video is going to essentially entail my plan with crypto. And that's essentially going to be it. I'm going to explain kind of where we are first in the market, what analysts are expecting. This is social media influencers. This is real analysts, what they're expecting. So if we look at history, I'm just going to be freestyling all of this. You're not going to see any graphs. You're just going to have to listen. So if we are going to go back to May 11th of 2020, that was when the Bitcoin having occurred and this happens every four years we will have one upcoming in april of this year so next month we will experience the bitcoin having now essentially with this bitcoin having this is pretty exponential for gains if you are to get in before it and i'll explain why so if we look at trends at graphs i might actually have a graph here you're going to see that the bitcoin having in may 11th of 2020 prices were pretty stagnant for about three to four to five months even but then exponentially it shot up leading into early of next year so this would be 2022 early or 2021 i'm sorry early 2021 prices shot up and reached an euphoric state where retail investors got in your everyday people who really aren't into crypto, but it's very trending. So they get on it and they expect multiple, multiple thousands of dollars of gains. So they get in and they cause the prices to skyrocket. And so then what happens? Obviously a bear market follows. And why does a bear market follow? Because everyone gets out of there once they see retail investors coming in, they take their profits and slowly but surely every retail investor loses all of their money like I did. So this is essentially what is happening. We are before Bitcoin having. It's going to be a couple of months before we really see prices start to go up based on history. History tends to repeat itself until it doesn't. So we could see this happen. And this could be substantial for anyone who gets into pretty good projects that are new, not dinosaur projects, but to new projects that do actually offer some value such as render. So let's talk about my positioning and my plan of how I could potentially turn the $3,000 I have into crypto into $100,000 at the max after taxes. That is what I'm cashing out on. Okay, so let's talk about it. So I'm first going to talk about what I'm invested into my exit strategy. But before the exit strategy, we'll talk about where I'm planning to next in the next six months and then my exit strategy. So we'll end on the exit strategy. But we're first going to be talking about what I'm currently invested into. And am I actually going to be investing into anything in the future? So let's start off with talking about what makes up a substantial amount of my portfolio. And this is Aerodome or Aerodrome Finance. So Aerodrome Finance is trading around 0 0.72 cents right now, 72 cents, which still is a steal. I got in at 61 cents. A lot of people got in earlier than that, but this just came out in February. And so Aerodrome Finance is a DeFi coin. Essentially what this is going to be doing, it's backed by Coinbase. And this project has lots of potential. It also it already showed great signs this past week. Had pretty it jumped up to point or eighty five cents. I could have taken profits off of, but I'm I'm long term with my positions. I'm not here to take short term cash in the form of a day. I'm taking my cash, my net profits in this upcoming year. Okay. So I have about 1,650 shares of Aerodrome. That equivalates to $1,100 depending on the price. So I am pretty heavily invested into this very recent, very risky project. But I do believe that Aerodrome could literally hit anywhere from 10 to even $50 at the max. I would not, even if it does, 
hit 50, I'm immediately selling because I am not looking to risk it. I just don't think it's reasonable. Okay, so Aerodrome Finance is one I have. Next up, we're gonna be talking about Render. Render, I've heard be explained as essentially a Uber for GPUs. You can lend out your U or GPUs in order for others to utilize the performance and power with them. And with this upcoming NVIDIA conference, Render, the founder is gonna be talking there, as well as Fetch, I'm pretty sure, or it's a different coin, it's not Fetch, but this is pretty big. This is pretty big news for Render. Render is an upcoming AI coin. It has been around for a little bit of time, actually, realistically, not that long. It might have actually came out in January or February of this year. It's an AI coin that is going to be doing wonders with GPUs, as well as working with big shots like NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Google. So these big tech corporations, this is very, very big promise for the future. We could see render hitting anywhere. It's currently valued around $11, $12. We could see this literally hitting anywhere from 100 plus. So I think it could hit 100. I will probably sell that position. Depends on how quickly the price raises. If the price raises to 100 in these next couple of months, I'm sitting on that until we reach those euphoric states, which could even provide more angles of profit. Now we're going to be talking about my third coin, which is Alluvium. So Alluvium is a video game that essentially is big name in the GameFi state or space. Alluvium is a project that reached all time high of around $2,000. It's expected to double that in this bull run if it does well with trades or with shares priced at around $130, $140, you can get a couple of shares. If it does actually go to $2,000, it's previous all time high, you'd make 10,000 if you had five shares with only investing around $600. So that is definitely a project that I'm going to be continuing to invest in, especially with the beta of their open world game coming out in April at the same time, the Bitcoin happening. Okay, so that's current my current portfolio. One more t um, thing I would like to mention is next month as well in April, a crypto called Ionet is gonna be dropping essentially along the same lines of render. I have airdrops already scheduled for that. There's a Discord you can join, look up Ionet Discord. You can do tasks to get Discord or to get airdrops as well. Really good project that I'm hoping to be a major investor into as well, which could see very big returns in this AI narrative. Okay, so that is essentially the four coins. I don't give you lists of 20 or 30 or 40. These are four projects that I'm pretty bullish on because I am picking a couple of solid projects rather than spending spreading my money out into 20 of them because I just seem to think this is the best risk to reward thing for me. For you it might be different. Now let's talk about before we get into my exit strategy, what happens after the Bitcoin halving? Do prices skyrocket? No, they don't. Remember I said prices are pretty stagnant based on the previous Bitcoin halvings. Well that's gonna happen or it should happen as well. And prices are probably gonna dip 30%. So you can pick up coins that you might want to have in order to actually deploy them when we get to that euphoric state. So after the Bitcoin halving expect three to six months before we start to see that initial growth where retail investors start coming into. And I would assume this comes with Bitcoin reaching 100,000. If Bitcoin reaches 100,000, that's going to be posted everywhere on the news. Everyone's going to hear about it. Everyone's going to regain their confidence in crypto. And that could be potentially very, very positive for us bulls. Okay, so let's talk about my exit strategy now because that's very important because last time I did not exit, I let all my money drop. I only had a couple hundred dollars in there, but things have changed now and I need to reevaluate, especially if I'm gonna be taking home multiple five figure profits, to even six figure profits, okay? So with that in mind, what is my exit strategy? So essentially I've set price targets for each of these cryptos that I am invested into with the amount I have invested in. 
if it hits the price target I have for this year, I'm going to sell. However, if by next year, if it doesn't hit those price targets this year, but it hits a different set of price targets next year, I will then sell on those as well. Now it depends on also what trends we're seeing in the market. If we're seeing an influx, a very high, you know, search rate on Google of Bitcoin, of NFTs, and of all of these things, it's probably time for me to sell, especially if I notice that it's getting to a euphoric state. That's when I take my profits. Maybe I miss out on a couple thousand or even $10,000. It'll be all worth it in the end if I'm not losing all of the money. Okay, so that is my exit strategy, short and simple, guys. Like I said, I hope to make in this bull run anywhere realistically from 40 to 100k plus okay so that's kind of the range hoping to take profits from just three thousand dollars it's realistic it is something that definitely could happen if you are in the right projects but without further ado guys i'll see you next video as always peace